Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us to the last Sunday of this month. Last Sunday, we celebrated the festival of Pentecost, and today we celebrate the Holy Trinity. We thank you, O Lord, for revealing yourself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit at different times as Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. And we thank you for this great blessing and help us to understand the mystery of the Holy Trinity. Help us to discover your love. Help us to rediscover your plan and purpose for the whole world. And be present in our midst as we gather in our respective homes to worship you, to praise you, and to thank you for all that you have done for us and in and through us. And bless this service and bless all those who participate in this service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Let us all praise God by singing the hymn 36, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Hymn number 36.
let us worship God. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Adoration. Praise be to you, O God the Father, who did create all things by your power and wisdom, and did so love the world as to give your Son to be our Saviour. Praise be to you, O God the Son, who was made man like us in all things, sin except, and was delivered for our offences, and raised again for our justification. Praise be to you, O God the Holy Spirit, who does lead us into all truth, and does shed abroad the love of God in our hearts. All praise and glory be to you, O God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I will arise and go to my Father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. You have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sinning. Let us kneel and examine ourselves in silence. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. O God, our Father, we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Have mercy upon us, we beseech you. Cleanse us from our sins and help us to overcome our faults. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Please be seated. Now we shall listen to the scripture lessons, first two lessons, and then responsive reading. The Old Testament reading for this service is taken from Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 28. The creation of the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse, and it was so. And God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas, and God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit, in which is their seed, each according to its kind on the earth, and it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, 
the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the light from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kind and the livestock according to their kinds and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Here ends the Bible reading. Thanks be to you, O God. The epistle reading is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 to 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 to 14. Final greetings. Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Here ends the Bible reading. Praise be to God. The responsive reading for this morning is taken from Psalm 2. At this time of pandemic, let us all read responsively Psalm 2. The words are in the screen in front of you. The reign of the Lord's anointed. Why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? The Lord of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs and the Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury saying, as for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. 
Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sons, let he be angry and perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. If you're happy or sad, gloomy or glad, and the kids always shouted out, let's all go bananas. Going bananas was this year's theme for VBS. And what an apt theme in a time where the whole world is going bananas and uh, because of the things that are happening around us. But uh, it was very apt for VBS. We looked at different characters in the Bible that seemed like they went bananas for God. And uh, people like Noah, Gideon, and uh, Zacchaeus, and uh, Elijah. And so all these characters, and uh, when the world thought that they were going bananas, rather they were doing what God had called them to do. And in difficult times as well. A day at VBS, since some of you couldn't join us, and just a quick report of what happened at VBS. A day at VBS started off at 9 o'clock in the morning from 9 to 9.15 and uh, we had icebreaker and uh, then from 9.15 on and uh, the banana band came along and uh, Shane took us to the whole new level of singing and uh, of dancing and music and it was such a joyful time and then came the banana bunch with their skit and every day out of the time shed appeared different characters in the Bible. And then finishing off with a banana, we had a short time of video. And uh, then we had Sarah and uh, the others come up with a craft time for the kids, as well as a time of activities with Kumar. And uh, so the cabin crew was very busy trying to take the kids through different times. And every day we also finished off our session and uh, with, uh, with small groups where, you know, and since it's online, and we couldn't see kids uh, or meet them face to face. And uh, we decided to have some uh, breakout rooms on Zoom where we met up with kids and we were able to talk about different questions and things that they went through through the day. And questions like what is God like and uh, what he expects of us and who went bananas for Jesus and why did they go bananas for Jesus? So we were able to discuss through all these things and we always finished with a word of prayer and uh, in our small groups as well as finished our VBS with prayer as well. And not just praying for the VBS, but also for people who are struggling and families who are hurting as well. So it was a great time uh, of VBS and uh, we had to keep the sessions really short and crisp and uh, for a maximum of about 15 minutes each thing because uh, to keep the kids' attention and to keep them all involved in the thing. And we had to keep it really short and sweet. Uh, we also thank God and for the kids that are given their lives to Jesus and have decided to follow Jesus. And um, so we've also planned for a special follow-up for them as well. Special day at VBS. Usually we have inspection day and love feast day. But rather we were thinking, how can we do a special day? And we decided to have a special day on Saturday where we had a whole lot of dress up day. So since the whole week was on a banana island and the kids were passengers and the volunteers were the cabin crew. And we decided on Saturday we'd have a special day where kids recorded different songs and dances and memory verse where they sent, a, sent in their videos. And uh, we had a great time just uh, watching them and enjoying along with the kids as well. So it was a great time of VBS overall. And uh, to finish off with, I quickly want to thank some of the volunteers or I should say cabin crew that had helped us on with this VBS. And um, we have from Egmore Wesley Church 
and we had Adam and uh, Alice and Alan, Joanna, Kim, Karen, Lynette, Rebecca and Sajina and Sarah who had uh, helped us out so um, actively as well as very enthusiastically and patiently with the children. And from the WAC team, we had Sheba, uh, Shane and myself to help out uh, with the VBS uh, this year. I do want to thank Sam as well and uh, for um, putting all these things together. And most of all, I want to thank our pastor of the church, Mr. Vijay Kumar, for giving us the opportunity to serve alongside together. And uh, we shouldn't forget. And uh, if it weren't for God, none of this would have been possible for us. We want to thank you once again. And like uh, with all the children, we want to say if you're happy or sad, gloomy or glad, Let's go bananas. Now let us all sing together the hymn 73. My God, how wonderful the what? Hymn number 73. Let us pray.
let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Last Sunday we celebrated Pentecost Sunday, the festival of Pentecost, and today we celebrate Holy Trinity. This Sunday is called Trinity Sunday. On Trinity Sunday, we are presented with prayers and scripture reading that accentuate our already very Trinitarian worship. Our worship is Trinitarian worship. We pray to God the Father, through God the Son, with the help of God the Holy Spirit. In Trinitarian doctrine, God exists as three persons, but as one being, having a single divine nature. The members of the Trinity are co-equal and co-eternal, one in essence, one in nature, one in power, one in action, and one in will. God is one in essence and three in person. There is an analogy. God the Father is the mind, God the Son is the body, and God the Holy Spirit is the spirit. The doctrine of Trinity is not explicit. New Testament contains a number of Trinitarian formulas. The Great Commission, it's in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. There Jesus sends the disciples into the world. He says, go and preach the gospel to all creatures and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. There we find the, the essence of Trinity. At the end of each service, we receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We did not invent this prayer. We did not invent this benediction. It is based on the scripture. Apostle Paul used this benediction. Second Corinthians chapter 13, Verse 14, Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The prayers that we make, the songs that we sing, are all based on the scripture. It is not invented by any human being. It is inspired by God. It is inspired by the Holy Spirit. You can also refer some of these verses. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses from verses 4 and 5. Ephesians chapter 4 verses from 4 to 6. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Revelation chapter 1 verses 4 and 5. God in the Trinity is like there's three states of water, ice, steam, and liquid. Or God in the Trinity is like the three parts of an egg, shell, white, and yolk. God in the Trinity is like a shamrock, three equal parts of the same plant. A doctrine of the church the Holy Trinity is the doctrine of the church based on the scripture describing God. 
but it is more than that. We cannot actually describe God. We can discover God and we can experience God. So, doctrine of the church based on the scripture describing God, but it is more than that. It is the experience of God with us. God revealed himself as Father, Son, and Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit at different times. In the Old Testament period, God revealed himself as Yahweh, as Father. Then in the New Testament, God became man, and Jesus Christ revealed the nature of God. When the disciples asked him, particularly Philip, show us the Father. We did in the 14th chapter of St. John. Jesus said to Philip, Philip, I am with you all these days. You have seen me and you are asking me to show the Father. He who has seen me has seen the Father. What a great answer. What a great answer. So Jesus revealed the Father and then the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I'll pray to my Father and he will send a comforter and he will be with you and he will lead you into all truth. We find all these instructions and all these messages in the 14th, 15th, and 16th chapters of John's Gospel. From the beginning of creation, God has revealed himself in the form of Trinity. Though we don't find the word Trinity in the Holy Scripture, the essence is there, the nature is there, when God said, let us create man in our own image. Let us create man in our own image. And again, when you look at the baptism of Jesus, we see the essence of Trinity. Heavens were open, and God the Father spoke from heaven, saying, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Then the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus in the form of a dove. So there we see God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So in, in that way, we find the essence and the activity of the Holy Trinity. A very good example and very easy for us to understand is the prayer of our Lord. Our Lord's prayer gives us a very clear picture about the Holy Trinity. I preached my first sermon on the 3rd of June, 2018, here at Egmore Wesley Church. June 3rd, 2018 was Trinity Sunday. For the benefit of everyone, I would like to Look at the Lord's Prayer so that we can draw inspiration and understand the meaning of the Trinity and understand the mystery of the Trinity and discover the activity and nature of the Trinity. He said, Our Father who art in heaven, St. Matthew chapter 6, verses from 9 following, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we address God as Father. Hallowed be your name. God's name is already holy. And it is our responsibility to keep the name of God holy. Your kingdom come. Jesus came and inaugurated his kingdom. And it is our duty 
to see that king, this kingdom of God is established and all those who look at the kingdom of God from outside should be brought inside. The whole world should become the kingdom of God. And that is again our responsibility. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, the angels in heaven, the archangels in heaven, fulfill the will of God. And it is our responsibility as human beings who are created in the image of God to fulfill the will of God in and through our life. For that purpose, God has created all of us in his very image, in his own image. So we cannot do anything other than that. We have to follow the quality and the nature of God. Then comes three petitions. Three petitions <coughs> addressed to the Holy Trinity. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. God provides. Provision comes from God, the Father. God has provided manna and quail and water to the people of Israel as they travel through the wilderness. 40 years, God provided everything from time to time. So it is God the Father who provides. Provision comes from him. Then the third, second petition, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is the prerogative of God the Son to forgive others. So pardon comes from the second person of the Trinity. Provision comes from the first person of the Trinity. Unless Jesus forgives us, our sins will never be forgiven. And that's what Jesus demonstrated all through his ministry and finally on the cross of Calvary. The first word he spoke from the cross of Calvary is about forgiveness. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So pardon comes from the second person. Then the third petition, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Protection. We need protection. Protection comes from the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. Easy to remember, three Ps. Provision, pardon, and protection. What a beautiful prayer Jesus taught us when the disciples asked him, Lord, teach us how to pray. We do not know how to pray. We do not know how to speak to God. We do not know how to address God. Here Jesus taught us this beautiful prayer. So at the end of every service, we say this prayer to conclude our service. Our, our service, our prayer time, our prayer fellowship will become complete when we say the Lord's Prayer. So as and when we say Lord's Prayer, we must remember that we adore and worship the Holy Trinity. God provides, God pardons, and God protects. The first person of the Trinity, God the Father, is the one who provides. The second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ, gives us pardon. The third person of the Holy Trinity, the Holy Spirit, protects us from all evil. This is based on the scripture. This is from the word, from the mouth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is not man-made doctrine. Based on this, the apostles formed 
the creed the apostles creed later on it was elaborated to strengthen the faith of the early christians and that was encouraged by the first christian roman emperor constantine the year 325 ad in nicaea yas the christians the early church fathers to elaborate on the apostles creed and that's why it is called nicene creed this creed was formed in the year 325 ad at nicaea on the instruction of the roman emperor constantine in the creed again based on the faith of the apostles lord's prayer is from the mouth of our lord based on the scripture creed both apostles creed and nicene creed based on the faith of the apostles and early church fathers again there we find the trinity we pray to the trinity we exhibit our faith we confirm our faith in the trinity we say i believe in one god the father almighty and creator so this is the aspect of the father one father almighty and creator four aspects we find then we say i believe in jesus christ our lord was born of virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate died buried on the third day rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of god the father from thence he shall come to judge both the living and the dead so what do we find here we find the humanity and the divinity of christ he was both son of man and son of god then as i said last sunday i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father the son is to be worshiped and glorified who spake by the prophets so this is our faith formed by the apostles and early church fathers god the father god the son and god the holy spirit so my dear brothers and sisters in christ let us experience this god the triune god one god head reveal themselves at different times as father son and holy spirit they are three but they are yet they are one they are not three different gods that's what we have to remember sometimes some of the devout christians too make mistakes they say only yagova only yahweh and some say only jesus and some say only holy spirit they are not three different gods one god revealed as father son and holy spirit at different times may god bless us and help us to understand the mystery of the holy trinity and help us to pray to the father through jesus christ with the help of the holy spirit may god bless all of us amen let us profess our faith to the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified dead and buried he descended to the dead the third day rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of god the father almighty from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead i believe in the holy spirit 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Bands of Marriage. I publish the Bands of Marriage between Mr. Joshua Arul Ebenezer, son of Chartered Accountant A. Gerald Ebenezer, and Mrs. Sudha G. Ebenezer, a member of our church, and Ms. Sharin Shekena, daughter of Mr. J. Jai Singh, and Mrs. J. Anandi Jai Singh, a member of CSI Holy Trinity Church, Maharaja Nagar, Tirnalveli, Diocese of Tirnalveli. This is the third time of asking. If any of you know any just cause why Joshua and Sharin should not be joined together in marriage, you are to declare it in writing to the pastor of this congregation. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, we ask for the blessing upon Joshua and Sharin, thy servants, who seek to be joined together in marriage. Prepare them, we beseech thee, for this sacred union, and be thou their guide all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I once again greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet all the members who celebrate the birthdays and wedding anniversaries this week. May God give them good health and strength and long life. Let us continue to pray for the pandemic. A new variants are coming up. God alone can remove this. Let us remember our members who are in hospitals and who are in home quarantine, that God may put his healing touch upon them and give them new health and new life so that they can all join together in worshiping God faithfully in his church. Let us also pray for Israel-Palestinian conflict. Let us pray for our children who are facing plus two examination. Let us pray for our Tamil Nadu new government, which is taking all steps to control and contain the deadly virus. And let us cooperate with the government so that we can put an end to this crisis. Let us also pray for the peace of the whole world. Let us also commit our lives once again to God so that God can shape our life according to his will and continue to use us as a source of blessing to many. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, for bringing us together on the last Sunday of this month to celebrate the Holy Trinity. Help us to understand the Godhead so that we can come closer and closer to you to know more about your will for us and for the whole world. We thank you for our members, Egmore Wesley Church and Broadway English Wesley Church, who celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversary this week. Bless each and every one of them, O Lord, fulfill all the wishes and desires. Continue to put your healing touch upon them. Fulfill all your plans and purposes in and through the life. We pray for our members who are in hospitals and who are also, many of them, in home quarantine. We pray for them, O oh Lord, for their speedy recovery. We know that you will give them new health. And we pray for doctors and nurses who work day and night to bring healing to the patients, protect them under holy wings, and continue to use them as a source of blessing to the patients who are infected with COVID-19. We also very specially pray for the Israel-Palestinian conflict. 
let there be peace in the Middle East and in that part of the world. Help the people and the authorities to learn to live in unity and in harmony. We pray for our country, our leaders, our state of Tamil Nadu. We commit the new government in your hands, O Lord. So far, they have been doing a wonderful job to control and contain this deadly virus. And we pray that you may give your wisdom so that they can take right decisions to bring about a great reformation, a great relief to all people of Tamil Nadu and also all people of India and all people all over the world. We thank you, O Lord, for this beautiful church. We commit all the families of Egmont Wesley Church and Broadway English Wesley Church. We pray that you may bless each and every family and continue to use them as a source of inspiration, blessing to others. We thank you for the various ministries of our church. We thank you for our Sunday school, our junior youth fellowship, our youth fellowship, women's fellowship, men's fellowship, Parivalaya, study center, Tamil Bible school, choir, junior choir, senior choir, and we commit all of them in your hands. We commit the LCC in your hands, O oh Lord, the secretary, the treasurer, and all the members of the LCC. We commit our media team very special in your hands, O oh Lord. Not even one Sunday we missed your service. They have strained every nerve and taken all efforts to bring out beautiful services every Sunday morning. We thank you for their dedication, commitment, the love for the church. And we pray that we bless them and their future and their family and use them as a source of blessing in the days to come. And give us more equipments so that we can produce quality programs and services. And we commit once again all of us in your hands, O oh Lord, we commit the church office staff and other staff in your hands, the security in your hands. Bless them and help them to rededicate their lives to you so that they will know your plans for them and they will receive your blessings. O oh Lord, we thank you once again for bringing us together and we begin a new month Day after tomorrow, we pray that you may give us new hope, a new beginning, and new health so that we can do new things and great things for your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I stand before you with mixed feelings. My wife and I are grateful to you for all that you have done to us the past three years. I thank God for this beautiful church and I thank God for the opportunity and the privilege that he has given to us to serve in many churches, both in the city of Chennai, Pondicherry, and rural areas. And also God gave me the opportunity to serve the church at large in Vermont, U.S., and in many churches in New Jersey, and Carlisle Diocese, many churches in Carlisle Diocese. And my wife and I were invited to preach in different churches in Dubai, Sharjah, and Abu Dhabi. We 
We served in best churches. Egmore Wesley is one of the best churches we have served. And I thank God for this on behalf of my wife, our youngest daughter, Gracia, and other children and grandchildren. I thank you very much for the love you showered upon us, the support and the cooperation and the prayer you extended to us. We'll be settling, God willing, in the city of Madras, and we'll keep in touch with each other after everything settles down. We'll meet together and we'll have greater fellowship with one another and above all with our God who has called us with a high calling. Continue to extend your support to the new pastor, the Reverend Yen. Manava Sandosham is posted to our church. Most probably, he'll be taking charge on the 31st of May, tomorrow, and he will take service from the 1st of June. We thank you once again. We pray that you may grow in love, faith, and fellowship. I'm happy that the church has grown and we were able to do so many good things with your support and prayer, and above all, the blessings and guidance of God. The first project, the paper blocks around the church. It looks so beautiful. Even after two years, there is no sagging. The blocks are intact, and everybody appreciates, all those who watch online program, appreciates the church compound. It's all God's grace and your support and your prayer and your contribution. The crowning glory came in the form of Pulikundram Church. At the time of pandemic, though we could not visit often, we were able to build the church and complete the church. And on the 5th of December 2020, our Bishop dedicated the church for God's glory and for the benefit of the congregation at Pulikundram, in and around Pulikundram. And just one announcement every Sunday, and you poured out your love, and you shared your contribution generously, liberally, and cheerfully a overwhelming response from our congregation. I thank you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for your support, for your prayer, and we were able to finish it, and we have some more, few, few more lacks to start another project, God willing, and we thank you for this. Continue to involve in all the ministries of the church. This is our church. God has given us this great privilege, and it is our responsibility to serve the society, the poor, the needy, the downtrodden. And we are all also able to do so many programs, retreats, seminars, even general body meeting after 15 years. So many things happened. We had a wonderful fellowship, and we had a wonderful time together. I thank you once again. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. I thank the present LCC and the past LCC for all the support they extended to me. As a chairman, I had to be tough at times. And of course, you understood. And for the welfare of the church, we did so many things. And as a pastor, I showed my compassion. And as the correspondent, again, I had to be tough with teachers and others, just for the development of the church, not to condemn anybody, not to find fault with anybody. We have no right to do that. God alone can judge. We cannot judge others. We all stand before the throne of God. 
but for the welfare of the church and for the benefit of the whole church, we have to maintain discipline. And at the same time, we have to show love. Love and discipline are two sides of the same coin. May God bless you. And let us continue to pray for each other. And let us share our love together and renew our fellowship and love when we meet again. So God be with you till we meet again. Thank you. God bless you. On behalf of the LCC and all the members and, and their families, I would like to thank Reverend V.S. Vijaykumar and Mrs. Angela Vijaykumar for their service to this church. We wish our pastor and pastor Amma all the very best for their future and God's blessings on their retired life. As already informed, the farewell for our pastor and pastor Rama will be held on a later date. However, we request the congregation to continue to contribute online towards the pastor's farewell fund. Our new pastor will be Reverend N. Manova Santosham, who will be taking charge from the 1st of June, 2021. The welcome for the new pastor also will be notified later to the congregation. In the meantime, if any of our members have any need or clarification or request, please contact the secretary or the treasurer of the church. May the Lord bless us all. Have a blessed week. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you now and always. Let us all sing together the hymn 64. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation.
the lord be with you go in peace to love and serve the lord in the name of christ amen god bless you thank you for participating in the service